Okay, so the Upside Down Man Project. So we just finished a reading about the left side of the brain and the right side of the brain and what tasks each side is good at. So now you're going to try to draw this to activate the right side of the brain. But again, what we have to do is to get the left side of the brain to let go of the task and not want to do it because it is dominant. So what you're going to do is like this. You're going to not trace but cover up a lot of the picture. And you're going to try to reproduce this by looking at it and redrawing it down here. Then you can shuffle it up, do a little more, turn it sideways, you know, line up this circle with halfway across your paper, and work this part and draw it on here. Do the same thing the other way and the other way. Okay? But you want to keep this guy always upside down as much as possible. Okay, so now I'm going to demonstrate that process.
as you can see, that's the process, but it's not perfect. It's not about being perfect. It's about trying your best and making a mess, if possibly, and uh, just doing the best you can. Obviously, I've had more experience, so it came out okay. My head's a little big, but leave the hands for last if it's a struggle for you. Sometimes those, we keep saying hands, and we try to draw just our hands like that, and that's not how they are. So just keep it upside down. That'll help a lot as well as uh, saving the more difficult parts for last because all the lines come in, it helps create the last part, the hardest parts. Okay, hope that helped.